going to see any of that from the match we're getting right now in Loser's Top 6 because we're getting perhaps what is the two most explosive players in the region of New York, Gatsby and Carflo, and we're starting off swinging. Yeah, no, definitely, if not the two most explosive, certainly up among them. And by right, pedal to the metal all the way here, and Gatsby just trying to find a reversal off ledge, but Carflo ready for it. These character players are just exchanging combos, exchanging hits, but it's really been Carflow who's been able to maintain the pace of the game in these extended strengths. I just, I'm sorry, I just can't help but chuckle at Gatsby and just how he operates because the man plays without any fear. Like he is here to like land Raptor Boost. He's here to like call out your jumps and call out your platform play as early and as often as possible. Landing on stage, instant empty grab, sure. Go for it. <laughs> like this is this is the Gatsby type of operation. Like for better or for worse. Yeah, right? We saw him for better on the first stock with that down air there. He was losing for most of it and then just came back to the first stock. But then that time Carflow ready and the knee gonna get closed out. And now Carflow with an opportunity to really tack on the hurt here, but Gatsby somehow managing to find his way out of the corner. But uh, getting a little bit over aggressive and throwing it all away. Over aggressive is an award you, should, you even need to say because they're always going to be extending. They're always going to be hunting. And that turnaround up smash right in the corner. Carflow picked a defensive option. No, 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 not here. Uh, not today. There can only be one. Un, these two players are about as high octane as they come. Gatsby didn't have his jump, and that's where was it. Where did it go? Who knows? But <laughs> when will it stop? Nobody knows. Certainly not here. Carflo tacking on the percent and calling out Gatsby on the extra swing. He's made such good use use of playing around these platforms, kind of baiting Car Gatsby into fainting the land on them, and then calling him out when he doesn't. Yeah, I think that's one of the most important things to to touch on here, because while both of these players, of course, are going to be swinging out of hit stun, they're going to be pressing a lot of buttons in advantage and looking for these big openers and for a lot of damage or even stocks in the case of Carflow right now, who's got this juggle, but misses the wave land now. Um, wow, it's still hunting. He is still out there. He had the read, but just barely whiffing it. Roy's airspeed being just enough. And he had the read again on that second up smash, but he held the first one just a tad too long. So he's had... Okay, I'm gonna pull the trigger on this one faster. Carvalho realized that that first one was slightly charged, and so he used Dancing Blade to stall and come in on the landing. It was so smart because it kept him up just enough that that he that up smash came out early and he was able to reversal yeah. that into the game. It was a nice mix up on the landing, like being able to change up between landing fair or like any of these single hits and to be safe on parry and to be prepared for that. Super nice from Carvalho in a very, very chaotic game. I think the the iota comes uh, fall still continues to fall upon Gatsby though, because while Carflow has been able to find punishes out of hitstun more reliably, able to find stocks with things like back air, knowing that Gatsby is just going to swing uh, ad nauseum. What I think Gatsby needs to do is almost try to use that speed, but to create more faint pressure, like a lot more empty hops, a little bit more of this like movement that means coverage rather than just for the for the highest reward though you can go for some reward there <laughs> but there is an issue with doing some of that movement with falcon in this matchup specifically right which is that that incredibly long turnaround animation when roy is so fast with that sword can just make it a little bit more committal right when you get stuck in those turnarounds it's harder to dash dance with this character effectively like yes that's true but also, I feel like it's a little overblown. <laughs> I'm with you in most matchups, but I do think it matters oh, yeah. more than most in this one. Specifically, and Gatsby closing it out with just a back... Or sorry, Carvalho closing it out on Gatsby with a back air. Okay, we're going to be saying that quite a lot. As we get to see a, just a ton of pressure on here, Carflow pressing that infinite block strings with how safe Roy can be with those sweet spots. Calling up the shield super late though. We'll see how far Gatsby can extend here. Missing oh. the Nair one twice over. Amazing drift from Carflow to go to ledge there. It's and, super important. And knowing that Gatsby is well, right? Always gonna look for that extra hit. Calling out that downer error and finding the corner situation, which Gatsby just hasn't been able to reset here. Carflow is doing a beautiful job kind of forcing these checkmate situations and the double edge dance gonna close it out. Just very, very good corner play from Carflow. Yeah, just being right on ledge. Like, I'm 
right up against it, missing the knee afterwards, but that's a very loose gentleman. Let's see if Gat oh, Gatsby goes for it all and still makes it back, being able to save that jump and knowing the resources that you have available. Oh, and late Nair should have led to a lot, but instead only a little bit. Now Carfleet gets to go. Like yep. being able to just, whoever gets to turn the key in the car and go is just such a big factor. Yeah, and right now, I mean, it's been all been, it's, it, it, you know, Captain Falcon hasn't been able to get in the driver's seat. He, yep. But able to put his foot on the gas when it matters most, send car flow down into the blast zone and even it up. We saw a lot of um, Gatsby's Raptor boosts get punished on shield. Car flow really caught onto his habits, but I right. will let you talk about no, this. Right, I mean, it's going to lead right into habit catching, right? He re Gatsby sees the landing on stage there and gets to play around a jump that Carflow even realized that Carflow knew he didn't realize he had. So by extending and by applying the right pressure, you can force uh, you can force a mix-up or even the no mix-up mix-up out of opponents that have exploitable recoveries. Carflow doesn't want to burn that jump, as we can see with that American Air Dodge right there. So uh, Gatsby was able to turn that to his advantage. And when Falcon gets a read on you, oftentimes it means something big. And it's only fitting, right, that we have Game 3 on, here on Town and City. Roy's best stage. And also probably Falcon's best stage. It, um, it's, yeah, I'd it, agree. It, I was going to say, like, those early kills off the side, the platform layouts, you get really strong NIL stuff, even though Falcons aren't necessarily doing it all the time. This is like the most explosive stage for both of these two very explosive characters. Yeah, I mean, it, it, everything comes down to the stock, right? Like both of these two can control, like, can kill, can blow you up in an instant. And that's how their character is designed. Like speed and uh, speed and raw power turning into con unconventional or even conventional stocks. Who gets to exert their will on the other? Who finds an opportune moment? Who finds a whiff? Who finds a feint? Who finds an up throw stock? The damage is in no, is no short supply either, so that kill throw is going to be equally as beneficial as it is uh, just as much as these bigger stocks that could end in dares or knees. And I'm just going to say, I appreciate how much heart Roy puts into everything, how hard he swings, how hard he screams when he dies. Like, it's just kind of gut-wrenching. Right now, the heart flow trying to close it out out trying to find any way to get back in this. The F-Tilt's gonna do it, but 93% to his name, that's not where he wants to be here in game number three. Yeah, I mean, he's got to deal with miss inputs, uh, and on time, he's got to deal with him, his own worst enemy himself, as well as uh, a screaming, raging Gatsby just running right at him, calling out these jumps, converting with these forward tilts. The utilization of Falcon forward tilt has been one of my favorite things about Gatsby in this set thus far, because it's always just been like this check, this like the ability to like angle it up to catch jumps or to use it as a quick follow up. That down air spacing was so smart oh, from Gatsby, so incredibly safe. What's even gonna happen? And Car Gatsby went all the way out there, missed the confirm, missed the clip, trying to put Carflow on Twitter, but it's still Roy, and at the end of the day, when you put Roy that deep, you pressure him that much, you force him to air dodge into the blast zone, it doesn't matter if you hit your confirm or not, because he can get back. Yeah, it wasn't even like, he missed Nair, he missed the Nair 2 yeah. so deep. And, and then he missed the up B follow no, yeah, he And he hit up air, but missed the up B. But up air never confirmed. Up B never confirms from up yeah. air. So you just try to read their. Yeah, their you're, you're, their, you're just yeah. trying to hold forward, which is fine because he was up a stock. And one of the best things about heavy rushdown play is that when you get that lead, suddenly there's no more restraints. It's like, oh, I have two stocks. I can go as deep as I want. And that just stops you from recovering. And either I win or I win and hit something cool. Either way, it's a W. <laughs>